the Bombers of Kenya management has confirmed closing the venue for scheduled repairs, thus, deterring Jubilee Party from holding its National Delegates Conference scheduled for Monday, May 22. Speaking to News 54, an insider at the Bomas of Kenya confirmed that the closure was pre-planned and not meant to curtail Jubilee's plans as perceived. According to reports, Bomas would be closed up to mid-July 2023. On Wednesday, May 17, the Jubilee party wing allied to President Uhuru Kenyatta issued a statement insisting that the NDC will happen and also called out people collecting names for the NDC adding that those people are fraudsters. The former Noragua MP blamed government agents for blocking the NDC. Unscrupulous officials were further accused of collecting names and data for the NDC despite not representing the party. On April 30, UL called for a special NDC to formulate new policies and receive a status report from the National Executive Committee. UL Kenyatta and his Jubilee Wing were yet to respond to Boma's closure by the time of publishing this article. It was yet to be disclosed whether UL would seek an alternative or suspend the NDC. Jubilee is facing leadership wrangles, with one faction arguing that Uru remains the party leader while another team claims that the nominated MP, Sabina Chch, succeeded him. The dispute began after Chch was appointed the party leader by the faction led by East African Legislative Assembly MP, Kenny Nikega, who claimed to act as the Secretary General. His decision was contested by, Jeremiah Kearney, the Secretary General who represents Uel Kenyatta's faction. While battling to retain his seat as party leader, Uru's efforts to call for an NDC also hit a snag after former nominated member of parliament, Hassan Osman, on May 8, sued Uru and the Jubilee party, lamenting that the meeting was announced illegally. Osman asked the court to nullify Uru's NDC meeting, which he complained targeted expelling Ruto allies from the party. Jubilee had suspended Kega and Sabinach to counter the Kegor faction directive, which expelled Kearney and Jubilee's vice chairperson, David Murath. Kegor further summoned Uru for a disciplinary meeting, with the Office of the Registrar of Political Parties, piling pressure on the former president to honor the summon. Wrangles within Jubilee escalated after Uru, on April 26, showed up at the Jubilee party headquarters in Kyle Leshwa, Nairobi, to protect Kearney from the Kegor faction, which battled to control the premises. The former president ordered rebels to exit the party. The landlord who leased the property to Jubilee demanded the party to exit from the premises, accusing it of causing disorder in the lavish suburb. Jubilee, however, denied receiving such an order.